if the length of rectangle is increased by 25 percent then what percent of break have to decrease so that the area remain unchanged Welcome to this video which is about change in area of rectangle related to change in side. That is, we can say change in side effect in area of rectangle. Suppose a rectangle is given. We know the area of rectangle is length time breadth. So this rectangle have fixed area. Now, if we increase its length by some percent, then the area will be changed or we can say the area will be increased. Similarly for the breadth, if we increase the breadth, the area will be increased. This green and the red part is the increased area which is related to increase in length and breadth. By measuring this area, we can easily find what percent of area is changed. So this is our main aim of this video, that is change in sight and effect in area. Let's start the main topic with an interesting problem. If the length of rectangle is increased by 25%, then what percent of breadth have to decrease so that the area remain unchanged? Here, the condition is area will remain unchanged and the length is increased by this 25%. So, what percentage of the breadth we have to decrease? Solution of this type of problem is Change in breadth is equal to 100 into 25 divided by 100 plus 25 this percent. So, we can say the change in breadth is 100 times the percentage of length increase divided by 100 plus the percentage of length increase. This will give the value for what percent of breadth should be decreased so that the area will remain unchanged. After calculation, we get the value 20%. We can solve this type of problem by taking variable, but to get the result within short time, we can use this formula. So, if the length of rectangle is increased by 25% and the breadth is decreased by 20%, in that case, the area will remain unchanged. Now, let's verify the answer. This verification process is also one easy way to solve this type of problem. First, late take one rectangle the length is 100 and the breadth is 50 as we know the area of rectangle is length time breadth so area will be 5000 now according to the question the length is increased by 25% we calculate the value that the breadth should be decreased by 20% here we just verify this one let's take another rectangle where the length is increased by 25% that is 25% of 100 is 25 so 100 plus 25 that is 125 and change in breadth we calculate this one is 20% so here is our breadth is 50 so the 20% of this 50 is 15 to 20 divided by 100 which is 10 so the new breadth should be 40 so that the area will remain unchanged so new breadth is equal to 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40. Now the breadth is 40. So the area of this new rectangle is 40 times 125 which is equal to again 5000. That is there is no change in area. So this is the verification that if we increase the length by 25% and the breadth is decreased by 20%. In that case, the area of rectangle will remain unchanged. And finally, we get the formula that if the length of rectangle is increased by a percent, then the breadth have to decrease by 100 a divided by 100 plus a percent for the area remain unchanged. So this is our working formula. With this formula, we can solve this type of many problems. And we get this formula by taking length, breadth, and this increase percent as a variable. This two value is important. That is a percent and 100 into a divided by 100 plus a percent. If a percent of length is increased, so 100 into a divided by 100 plus a percent of breadth should be decreased. So that 
the area will remain unchanged. Now let's solve another type of problem. If the length of rectangle is increased by 20% and the breadth is increased by 20%, then find the percentage of increase in area. In this case, both the length and breadth is increased by 20%. The solution of this type of problem is the change in area is equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 times 20 divided by 100 this percentage. Here, this 20 is the increased percentage of length. This 20 is for the increased percentage in breadth. And this 20 times 20, that is the increased percentage in length times increased percentage of breadth divided by 100 this percentage. After calculation, we get 44%. So, if the length of rectangle is increased by 20% and breadth is increased by 20%, then the percentage of area is increased by 44%. To solve this type of problem, where the length and breadth both are increased, we can use this formula to solve, to solve this type of problem within few seconds. That is increased percent in length plus increased percentage in breadth plus increased percentage of length times increased percent of breadth divided by 100. This value will give the percentage of area increase. Now, let's verify this result. First take one rectangle with length 100 and breadth 50. As we know, the area of this rectangle is 5000. Now, let's take the new rectangle where the length is increased by 20%, that is 100 plus 20, and the breadth is increased by 20%, that is the 20% of this 50, which is equal to 10. So, the new breadth should be 50 plus 10, 60. So, the area is 120 times 60, which is, which is 7200. Okay, now, the new area is 7200 and the previous area is 5000. So the change in area is 7200 minus 5000. The percentage of change, that is the difference value of these two, that is 7200 minus 5000, that is 2200 divided by 5000 into 100%, which gives the value 44%. Our previous result was 44%. This is the verification of result. Also, this is one way to solve this type of problem. Finally, you get the formula that is, if the length of rectangle is increased by A% percent and the breadth is increased by B%, percent, then the area will increase by A plus B plus AB by 100%. Here, this A is the value of the length increase percentage and the value of B is the breadth increase percentage. If we substitute the value of A and B in this formula, we can easily get what percentage of area will increase. That is the formula is A plus B plus AB by 100%. To solve this type of problem within short time, we can use this formula. Now let's see another type of problem. That is, if the length of rectangle is increased by 25% and breadth is decreased by 20%, then find the percentage of increase or decrease in area. Here, the length is increased by some percentage and the breadth is decreased by some percentage. Then we will find the percentage of increase and decrease in area. So the solution of this type of problem is the change in area is 25 minus 20 minus 25 times 20 divided by 100 percent. Here, this 25 is the percentage of increase in length here, this 20 is percentage of decrease in breadth, and this 25 is for the increase in length, and this 20 is for the decrease in breadth. That is 25 minus 20 minus 25 times 20 divided by 100%. After calculation, we get 0%. That is, if the length of any rectangle is increased by 25%, and the breadth is decreased by 20%, in that case, there would be no change in area. We already see it in earlier. Let's verify the result. First take one rectangle with length 100 and breadth 50 and the area will be 5000. And the new rectangle where the length is increased by 25% that is 100 plus 25% of 100 that is 25 that is 100 plus 25. And the breadth is decreased by 20% that is the 20% of this 50 is 
10. So the new breadth will be 50 minus 10, that is 40. So the new area will be 125 times this 40. That will be again 5000. So there is no change in area. So the change in area is 5000 minus 5000, which is 0. So percentage of change, that is 0 into 100%, which is 0%. This is the verification of the result. Finally, we get the formula that if the length of rectangle is increased by a percent and the breadth is decreased by b percent, then the area will be increased or decreased by a minus b minus ab by 100 percent. So this is our working formula. This a represents the percentage of length increase. This b is represent the percentage of breadth decrease. For the increase, the the value is positive, and for the decrease, the value is negative. Since this value is negative, so this AB by 100, this one is negative. So we can say if the length is increased by A percent and the breadth is decreased by B percent, that case the percentage of increase or decrease in area is A minus B minus AB by 100 percent. The positive value of this term will be considered as the increase in area and the negative value of this term will be considered as the decrease in area. Now let's solve some problem using this formula. That is, if the length of rectangle is increased by 30% and breadth is decreased by 20%, then find the percentage of increase or decrease in area. The solution is, the change in area is 30 minus 20 minus 30 times 20 divided by 100%. That is, this 30 is the percentage of increase in length, this 20 is the percentage of decrease in breadth. And this 30 is for increase of in length, this 20 is for decrease in breadth. After calculation, we get the value 4%. Since the value of this term is positive, in this case, we can say 4% is increase in area. If the length of any rectangle is increased by 30% and the breadth is decreased by 20%, in that case, the area will be 4% increase. Let's solve another problem. That is, if the length of rectangle is increased by 20% and the breadth is decreased by 30%, in that case, find the percentage of increase or decrease in area. The solution is the change in area is equal to 20 minus 30 minus 20 times 30 divided by 100 is percent. This 20 is increased, that's why here is positive. This 30 is decreased, that's why this one is negative. So the value here, this 20 represents the in percentage of length increase. This 30 represents the percentage of breadth decrease. After calculation, we get minus 16. So the, in this case, this term gives the negative value. We can say this one is the decrease in area. So finally, you can say 16% decrease in area. For any rectangle, the length is increased by 20% and the breadth is decreased by 30%. In that case, the area will be decreased by 16%. Now, let's solve another type of problem. That is, if the length of a rectangle is decreased by 25% and breadth is increased by 20%, then find the percent of an increase or decrease in area. In this case, the length is decreased, but the breadth is increased. And we will find the percentage of increase or decrease in area. The solution is, the change in area is 20 minus 25 minus 20 times 25 divided by 100%. Here, 20 is the breadth increase percentage and this 25 is the length decrease percentage. Since this one is decreased, that's why this one is here negative. If any of this term is negative, that case this term will be negative. After calculation, we get the value minus 10%. Since the, this term gives the negative value, that's why area will be decreased. So we can say the area will be decreased by 10%. If for any rectangle, the length is decreased by 25% and the breadth is increased by 20%. In that case, the area will be decreased by 10%. Let's verify this pressure. Let us take one a rectangle with length 100, breadth 50, where the area is 5000. And take another rectangle where the length is decreased by 25%, that is 100 minus 25, and the breadth is increase by 20%, that is 20% of 50 is 10, that is 50 plus 10. So, the new area will be 75 times 60, which is 4500, that is the area is decreased here. So, the change in area is 5000 minus 
4500 that is 4500 so percentage of change that is 500 divided by 5000 into 100 percent that is 10 percent since this area is a uh, decrease here so this value will this percentage of area will be decreased so finally we verify the result if the length is decreased by 25 percent and breadth is increased by 20 percent in that case 10 percent area will be decreased so finally we get the formula that is if the length of rectangle is decreased by a person and the breadth is increased by b percent then the area will be increased or decreased by b minus a minus ab by 100 percent so this is our working formula here this b represent the breadth increase percentage this a represent the length decrease percentage if this term will give the positive value in that case the area will be increased if this term give the negative value in that case the area will be decreased using this formula we can solve this type of many problem within short time